Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna do a review of the 5950 Low Profile, so let's get into it. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Sheroy and I do videos from streetwear to sneakers and just about anything in between, including fitted hats. If that sounds like the content you're interested in, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a thumbs up on this video, and comment down in the comment section what is your favorite color underbrim. Right now, I would like to think my favorite color underbrim is the blue brims. Pink brims are cool too, but right now I'm leaning towards the blue brims. And let me know, are you into the black nasties? Are you into the blue brims, gray brims, whatever it is, let me know down in the comment section below and let's get on with today's video. One of the most reoccurring comments on my previous fitted videos was if I want a curved brim fitted hat, I should just stick to a low profile. Well, today I'm gonna answer that for you guys as well because some of you might be wondering, should I just get a low profile fitted hat or should I curve the brim of my regular 5950 fitted cap? So this is gonna help you figure out which one is right for you. Not everyone has the same head shape, so definitely that plays a part too, but hopefully you won't have to get a hat that you don't like, and if you're stuck with it because it's final sale, that's never good. So hopefully this video helps you make that final decision. I think it's only fair that we start off this video by having a closer look at the 5950 low profile and see what makes it unique from the regular 5950 fitted cap. Now that you can see the 5950 low profile close up, I'm gonna point out the unique features. Right off the bat, you can see that it has a curved brim. I didn't curve this myself, it comes pre-curved, and most 5950 low profiles are flex brim, meaning that you can actually curve it and it's meant to hold and retain the shape. It's naturally meant to curve and it doesn't come flat like your regular 5950 fitted cap. From the side angle, you can see why this is called the 5950 low profile. Unlike a regular 5950 fitted cap, which has a high crown, this one has a more contoured or curved crown, which is also structured like a regular 5950 fitted cap, but has a lower shape to it, so it fits closer to your head. This is probably the defining factor between a regular 5950 fitted cap and a 5950 low profile, is how you want the crown of your hat to fit. Now to all fitted fans out there, I'm gonna point out that most low profiles do have black underbrims, but there are colored underbrims for the low profile fitteds as well. It's important to note that brands like Still actually do make colored undervisors for the low profiles in special collections. So if you are a fan of the low profile, don't worry, you're not stuck with the plain Jane or black nasties. One more thing to note is that these hats can be bought on lids.com and are easily accessible at your local lid store as well. So in terms of accessibility, these are easy to pick up if you are interested in a low profile fitted. For those of you wondering, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the low profile and the regular 5950 fitted cap. As you guys can see, the crown sits a little higher and that is the main difference between the two caps. So you might be wondering, should I stick to the regular 5950 cap or should I get the 5950 low profile? And the honest answer is, it depends on your head shape and your personal style. I'm gonna show you the difference between the low profile on my head versus the regular 5950 and you tell me which one suits me better. I hope this is able to answer why I don't buy low profiles. As you can see here, the low profile doesn't suit my head shape. Now it might suit yours, but for me personally, it is a lot closer to my head and gives me kind of like an egg shape on top. And I personally do not like that look. Now to be completely honest, this is a six and seven eighths, which is closer to my true head size. I'm between a seven and six and seven eighths. So I thought maybe because it's a little smaller, it's not fitting my head right. So I decided to compare it with one of my regular 5950 hats that is also in a six and seven eighths. As you can see, this is the regular 5950 fitted hat in a six and seven eighths size. The exact same size as the low profile and the crown suits my head a lot better. It adds more structure to my head and overall face shape. Personally, like I said, it really depends on your face shape and style. For me, I like the higher crown and I do not like how the low profile sits on my head. It might look better on you than it does on me, but that is for you to decide. When it comes to figuring out which one is best for you, like I said, face shape makes all the difference. Maybe you should go down to your local lid store and try on a low profile and then try on a regular 5950 fitted cap and see which one you prefer over the other. There is no right or wrong answer and it's honestly personal preference at the end of the day. As I mentioned earlier, there are sites that do colored undervisors for the 5950 low profile, but it is a lot harder to find than the regular 5950 fitted cap. So that is also something to keep in mind. If you like your side patches, don't worry, the 5950 low profile actually has side patches as well. You can actually find these on lids right now on their website. At the end of the day, if you prefer a high crown or a nice structured shape, you should go with the 5950 regular fitted cap. 
but if you like a more contoured or sleeker look for the top of your head, then go with the 5950 low profile. That is the only difference between the two hats. Overall, construction and quality is the exact same on the two. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna stick to the regular 5950 fitted cap, but maybe this one is right for you. Unfortunately, this one is gonna go back to lids because it doesn't suit me exactly how I'd want it to. But I was able to answer the question for you guys and also maybe share with you which one you should go for. All right, so that sums it up for the 5950 low profile review. Let me know if you guys plan to make the switch down in the comment section below. As I said earlier, I'm not gonna be making the switch. It's a no for me but maybe it works better for you and I hope this video is able to help you figure out if you're a low profile type of person or a regular 5950 type of person. There are other hats out there, dad caps, less structured caps, but I'm just gonna review the 5950 low profile for today. Thank you all for the support so far. I truly appreciate all of you. We're at 3,600 subscribers and we're growing every single day. It truly means the world to me. I know I took a little break, but that was for my own mental health, but I'm back now and pushing out content on a more consistent basis. I truly appreciate the support you've given me so far and I hope I can push out more videos that you all enjoy in the near future. That sums it up for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.